October 25, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and nine months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 609 of Special Putin's three-day operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. Ukraine faced down 66 different combat engagements against the larger Kremlin army in the last 24 hours. The Kremlin is expending armies to encircle Avdiivka and making only minimal gains for the costs. Ukraine continues to tie up Kremlin troops with light unit river crossings at Kherson. Dnieper Line Ukraine continues to keep operational silence a priority in Kherson. Rumors and stories from Kremlin mouthpieces continue to tell conflicting stories. The only thing that seems to be clear at the moment is that much of Kherson is actually mostly vacant of Kremlin troops. Those unfortunate enough to have accepted the Kremlin's invitations appear to be regularly targeted, harassed and eliminated at Ukrainian will. Zaporizhia Front Ukraine's deep state mapping project has noted that the Kremlin has pushed units to the contract line across this front. It's unclear if this is a reflection of developed conditions, or if this is a sign that the Kremlin intends to test Ukrainian defenders' abilities to cargo 200 more of Moscow. Ukraine continues to shape outside Kopani, west of Robotyne. No changes around the Morki Yoli. East Front, Donetsk. What a mess, for the invaders. Ukraine repulses attacks from Volheda to Pisky. At Avdiivka the Kremlin has pushed west at Pervomaysk on the Vodiana River. On the north, at the coke plant west of Krasnoharivka, the Kremlin has taken the one-kilometer slag pile. Estimates are that 5,000 or more Kremlin casualties have occurred in this attack over the last two weeks. Ukraine's flowers won't mind if those are Muscovites or if they're taking the train in from Siberia. Speaking of taking the train, the Kremlin has moved two new brigades into the pocket north of the city. One of those is the 15th separate motor rifle, previously on attack outside of Svartov. Joined in their move is the 30th separate rifle brigade. This unit appears to most recently have been regrouping in Donetsk after fighting in Svartov area this summer. Bakhmut area. At Andreevka and Klishchivka, attacks by both sides appear to have slowed. There are reports that Ukraine made some probing attacks into the valley. It remains to be seen if Ukraine shifts the push towards the urban center. Immediately west of the city's blocks, the Kremlin has pushed up into a hill overlooking the city. A good time to be reminding Ukrainian defenders to not post videos of their positions. Oskil border front. Little has changed on this front by land or by tactics. West of Svartov the Kremlin has recently removed the 15th to support the attack at Avdiivka. East of Kupiansk the Kremlin continues to make small gains. Northern border. Kursk air defense stays busy, but nothing of note has changed in this area. Black Sea. Ukraine continues to punish the former Black Sea fleet of Moscow, as the better named Rostov fleet has taken shelter near Sochi. Attacks on munitions in Crimea were not successful in the most recent attempt. Practice makes perfect. Ukraine world related. The EU is floating the idea of sending to Ukraine armored vehicles seized on their way to Libya. Fifty nations will be gathering in Malta to discuss how best to assist Ukraine. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.